Hey, this is Brett the Ford guy. Today we are checking out how to get your door code off of your Ford Escape. I have my 2009 right here. This video is going to be good for all 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012 Ford Escapes. Also good for the Mercury Mariner for those model years. So first off, I'm going to preface this video with possibly... Um, so I went to the fuse box before I started the video here and somebody had taped my card to the fuse box. I got this vehicle secondhand, so that's not where your door code's gonna be, but that's definitely possibly somebody might have taped it there. Anyways, you're gonna need a lot of tools for this uh, door code find. In fact, you're not even gonna need a tool. The best thing you can use is a very thin butter knife. And uh, I'll show you how to do that because we're going to be taking this trim piece off right here with the butter knife. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a second here. Okay, so before we take this off, I'm going to preface this with put your parking brake on because we're going to have to put this in neutral. Um, and you don't want to roll back into anything behind you, say your 96 Ford Escort. So we're going to set the parking brake. And... Uh, Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter knife. So there's four tabs on this chrome piece. One here, one here, one here, one here. So you're gonna to wanna to press down on the plastic and then you're gonna just wanna lift up and it'll, you can hear it snap. You wanna do the four, three corners. Once you do that, you can kinda of just get it off with your fingers. So you can see the little snaps there. So you're all done with your butter knife. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go inside your center console here and take out your big storage tray. Set that off to the side. Now the next thing you want to do is take out your um, cup holder tray. And then you're going to want to grab right here and pull up. There's four tabs and it's kind of violent when you do it. But you're going to want to just pull up like so. It will come out and uh, they make that solid so it doesn't rattle while you're driving. So the next thing you wanna do is turn your ignition on and put it in neutral. Make sure you get your parking brake on and keep your foot on the brake. So this comes out just like so. You just wanna set that down to the side. Now I'm gonna show you exactly where your door code is right now. Okay, so I'm on the driver's side and there's gonna be a, actually the back of the fuse, fuse box here there's two white stickers. You can, there's the front one and the back one. The one that says FOMOCO on it is uh, upside down. That's the sticker you're going to want to look at. And it's in the, if you're looking at the sticker from the driver's side, it's in the upper right hand corner of your um, sticker there. And it's upside down. That is your factory door code. So that's the code that you're going to want to use to um, program any other personalized door code you may want. In fact, in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to uh, show you how to program your own door code on the keypad entry here. And um, remember to like, subscribe, and share on the video. And yes, it is that easy. You just need a butter knife and a little bit of uh, strength there. The other thing I will mention is that sometimes these plastic pieces do come with the ambient lighting and the uh, PowerPoint. Just got to make sure that when you take that thing off that you're not going to wreck those cords um, that are hooked up to those pieces that are attached to that center console piece. Anyways, remember to like, subscribe, and share. In fact, in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel. On the left is a link to more door code videos like this one that find out all the door codes including F-150s, F-250s, um, all the good stuff there. So check us out there and thanks again for checking out the video.